there might be some noise in the background because it's christmas day just so you know and everybody is just about their business and about their life so <laughs> i'm just gonna do the bald cap method oh this is shit tight tight okay so i decided to do a voiceover because obviously that was going to work best for the video again it was christmas so everybody was about their life um but i'm doing the bald cap method this is literally my go-to i prefer this because i feel like it makes you um it makes it easier for me to cover up my edges i'm not gonna lie a lot of people have um you know things to say about this but that is why i use um this spray i use the even um, new york spray it's very safe the safest that i've used so far it is super easy to take off because all you need is water every other glue that i've tried is just too much for me it doesn't work for my edges like it's not safe so i just stick to this spray um so i'm gonna go ahead and um cut it off i usually would do the three flaps if you've watched a few of my installs back in the days you would know that that is what i do and you definitely want to be careful when you're cutting so you don't cut your hair so that's why i always make sure to lay my edges i make sure that my hair the hair around the perimeters is laid flat and i do that with my got to be gel um just so that you know it stays in place and it's not you know coming out and doing things that it's not supposed to be doing okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and use some foundation there's actually powder foundation from juvia's place i'm gonna use that over it to sort of tint the edges a little before i apply um, the wig itself and then i'm gonna clean off the excess um product just so that you know it's not uh, getting in the way of the glue and just so that i can also keep the hair around for a while now this is the hair that i am working on today this hair is from amazon this unit let me tell you guys it is long and beautiful okay it's long it is soft it is so easy to manage i had this particular install on for a full week and I couldn't get enough of it. Like I couldn't get, it feels so natural. It's so easy to brush out. Literally, like it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. Like I, I can't even tell you guys how beautiful the hair is and not just how it looks, but also how it feels. It makes you feel so pretty. You see, I, I just couldn't stop running my fingers through cause it's that good. I love it. So I'm gonna use my hot comb to just, you know, push the hairs away and prep the area for laying this is what i usually do and i just want to say that if you have a new wig or if you're installing a new wig it's a lot of hot comb and um hair wax a lot of hair or hair wax and hot comb because that's how you're gonna get it to lay flat that's how you're gonna get it to look you know seamless to look natural you need to make sure that you're using that hot comb to chase away the flyaways um the wax to you know seal that in they work hand in hand so you you see you guys will see a lot of that you i use the wax and then i use the hot comb it works really really well so i'm just gonna keep pushing it away Way and then I will go ahead and lay the wig with the same even spray that I used. the spray what i do is i do one in one out that's what i call it um i would usually spray one layer of the spray on my actual hairline you know like a little bit on the bald cap and then a little bit on my hairline so i would say an inch on the bald cap an inch on my hairline and just you know work it in with my finger just like i'm doing and then i would lay the hair and then leave it to lay for about you know like a good 10 15 minutes and then i will come back and you know cut off the lace and then lay it again so that's what i mean when i say one in one out so you will see you will see what it looks like but i 
I'm just currently cutting off the ear flaps so that, you know, just the excess hair that I have in that area. I feel like I've become very comfortable with laying my wigs, I'm not gonna lie. So it makes it very easier for me to, you know, do the finessing. So if you're a beginner, definitely cut the flaps like I'm doing on this side and not like I did on the other side. So, yeah. So now I'm just going to go ahead and lay the wig with my um, elastic band. I usually cut the big elastic band into two. When it's smaller, it lays a lot better. That's a pro tip. When it's smaller, it, it, it just covers a very small amount of space in the area so that, you know, it's not holding down hairs that it's not supposed to be holding down. So definitely that's a tip. Cut the, hairs, the hair band into two. And then um, I'm just going to go with a middle pat. That's what I decided to do at this point. But at the end, I decided to go with a side pat. So. And then again, I'm going to go in with the hot comb and some wax. I told you guys, a new wig, if you want to get a new wig to lay flat and, you know, just to look seamless, it's a lot of hot comb and wax. A lot of hot comb and wax, okay? And then I'm just going to go ahead and take off the band, just like I said. So this is what I do. I do the first one in and then I'm going to cut off the lace, still using the three flap method that I always do. Um, I will just cut it off on each side and then in the middle. And then go ahead and just cut off this lace. You want to cut it off in a zigzaggy method is what I would say. You definitely don't want to do a blunt cut. A blunt cut is not going to make it nice. So you want to, you guys will see how I move the scissors. You want to sort of like move it around. See what I'm doing. You just want to do that just so you don't have a blunt cut. And then, you know, it will make it lay a lot more better. And I just want to show you that I'm going back in to clean the lace. I will go back in to clean the lace because, you know, it, it's not always perfect, okay? It's not always perfect. So you have to cut it and clean it up as much as you need it to be cleaned up. And another thing that I say is I don't do baby hairs. All my installs pretty much don't have baby hairs. Baby hairs, I don't just, I, I don't like it. I don't know. I don't like the look of the baby hairs. It's just, it feels a little too obviously the hair itself is fake we all know that but you know adding the whole baby hairs for me it's like too much so i like to do my hairs without baby hairs so you guys would see um it's pre-plucked and all of that so i didn't have to do so much um but i will make sure that the front is kind of nice and flat so then now i'm gonna go in with a combination of the got to be gel with the even spray if i want to have the wig on for you know a few more days that's what i usually would do and then if i want to take it off the same night i would just use the even spray again these two products i've found that are much much safer than all these other glues that would pretty much never come off i'm not even gonna lie so if you're looking for a safer option and easier to come off type of option then definitely try the even spray i would have a link on my amazon store front i would have a link for you guys below always if you comment i would send that to you as well um but what i do is that i apply the lace i mean i apply the glue and the gel and then i just go ahead and use a rat tail comb to chase the hairs into the glue that's what you want to do 
so you don't want to use your finger to do so much with the gel the got to be gel especially but with the ebon spray the second application i spray it on my finger and just you know apply it there just so that it's not so much spray getting all over the hair just so that it's going exactly when you need it to go that's a little trick that i learned from the girls that works okay i'm not even gonna lie so apply that second spray application on your finger and then you just go ahead and you know like press it in and it's not gonna give you any white situation even spray it doesn't do that like it doesn't do that and even if it's white you just have to like add a little bit of water and then it's like back to normal so now i'm going in with some water to just define the curls um this hair again it's beautiful it's lustrous like it's literally giving luxury i'm not even gonna lie it's giving big girl luxury okay and i love it so i'm just gonna define this with water um hair conditioner you know the whole nine yards i think i used water and hair conditioner for this curls and again i showed you guys you basically don't get like a lot of like um fallout it's it's beautiful so i'm just gonna keep doing that and yeah and i just went ahead to take off that band and yeah this is this is literally what it looks like i love that and just like i said all you need to do is like wipe the even spray a little and then apply some foundation on the edges and you're good to go i usually don't tint my laces maybe i should i'm not gonna lie maybe i should maybe i should um but the only tint that i use is my foundation or my um you know powder so now i'm just using my hot comb again to do this is finishing touches i'm not even gonna lie at this point this is finishing touches i went a little crazy with the powder i shouldn't have so definitely be careful when you're doing that but either way it still turned out looking good and i totally like it i will leave a link this hair is from amazon i'm not so sure if i mentioned in the beginning but i will leave a link for this unit for you guys it's beautiful if you're it's literally vacation ready type of hair okay it's beautiful so um if you're looking for a good kelly unit then this should be your choice but this is pretty much everything for the hair i'm just gonna you know do finishing touches and show you guys the final look another tip is you always want to use your flat iron or your um, hot comb to just like you know press it down to make it nice and flat and still some wax okay keep that in mind but this is what we have she's looking pretty and thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next install happy new year i hope you like it mwah, mwah, mwah. bye when they say she get it from her mama, mama say you fuck her right, body do this bumper like, tell me in the home, but come tell me is you down, cause I'm tryna go good tonight, all the hoochies left and right, I just wanna feel